Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Elements, all the items you add and manipulate are stored in layers. A layer is like a transparent sheet on which content is placed and edited. Where there is no content in a layer, it is transparent, allowing you to see through it to the content below. You can stack several layers on top of one another to separate the individual elements of a larger image file. This way you can manipulate the contents of a single layer without disturbing the content of the other layers. In this chapter you will examine how to create and edit layers and their contents to produce various effects in your image files. Understanding and using layers is one of the most critical aspects of being an effective Photoshop Elements user. Whenever you create a new image file in Elements that has a white or colored background, the bottommost layer is called the background layer. An image file can only have one background layer at most. You cannot change the placement of the background layer in the layer stack, its opacity, or its blending mode. However, you can convert this layer into a normal layer, which is shown in a separate lesson. If you create a new image with a transparent background, then the image file does not have a background layer. The bottommost layer is not constrained in the way that the standard background layer is. So you can move its position within the layer stack, change its opacity, and even change its blending mode. You use the Layers panel to manage your layers in the selected image file. You can display the Layers panel if it isn't displayed by selecting Window, Layers from the menu bar. In the Layers panel you will see the various layers in the current image file appear in a list. As with the other panels you have seen, this panel has an Options button in the upper right corner that you can click to view the options for the panel in a pop-up menu. Let's take a moment to examine the layer panel's features before using it. So within each layer you have a layer thumbnail that roughly shows the content of the layer. To the left of that you have the Link Layers button which lets you link layers together. The eye icon indicates the layer visibility. Above the layers you have the blending mode for the selected layer. You will also see the opacity of the layer appear to the right of that. In the toolbar at the top of the panel, from left to right you have buttons for create a new layer, create a new layer group, create a new fill or adjustment layer, add layer mask, lock all pixels, lock transparent pixels, delete layer, and the Layer Options button. You will also see the layer name appear to the right of the layer thumbnail within the Layers pane. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.